What's up YouTube? Just setting up a uh, regenerative discharge with the uh, 30 amp antimatter. We have these three 2 volt super deep cycle solar cells from uh, G, G and B they are. I'm not sure of their original amp hours but we're going to find out what they've got now. Uh, they're all nice and charged. They've had a bit of time to settle so we're going to run a 20 amp discharge on them at 6 volts to see what happens and this is a regenerative discharge so it's pulling 6 volts out of here pushing it into here and then feeding it back into the battery bank down there and subsequently to the inverter so uh, see what happens so you got to confirm regenerative discharge there it goes you see it wind up there Oh, we must have some voltage drop. Okay, then we'll try that again. Confirm. There we go. It's going to stop at five and a quarter. It's pushing eight point three amps back into the battery bank, the twelve volt battery bank. It's holding six amps at twenty volts, twenty amps. Sorry. Well, I'll have a look tomorrow when we we should have a better better idea of what's going on. The uh, milliamp hours is jumping up like a rocket, which is good. Should have some kind of reading by the morning. So I left it going overnight, discharging. We only discharged it at eight and a half amps. It's still got five point five point nine volts in the pack at one hundred and thirty seven amp hours so far. And uh, I wondered why it was only discharging at eight amps. The battery bank is completely full. <laughs> I even turned the solar off last night before I uh, before I come out. There we go, back up to 20 amps. Oh, that's hilarious. So all I did was plug that Milwaukee battery on the charger. And now I can continue discharging it. Yeah, see the Milwaukee battery's charging. So now I can continue discharging at that higher rate. I didn't think we'd have that much of an issue. It's done, well, I suppose 137 amps at 6 volts is... Let's see, even if you only went 50 amps at, uh, at 12 volts, taking in a few efficiencies, that's still a pretty decent charge rate, right? 50 amps. Um... Considering these had 12 or 13 volts in them. I oh, see so yeah, 13 yesterday. So, we'll let that go again. Hopefully we'll be done this afternoon. What's up guys, we finally got a result. It's just about to stop, I managed to come out and catch it. It's cut out voltage is 5.25 volts. It's still got a 20 amp load on it, so it's actual Static voltage would be uh, probably more like 5.5. So if you weren't drawing 20 amps, it'd probably last a bit longer. And say you drew drew 5 amps off it, and you had a week to wait, you could uh, get a similar kind of reading. 536 and a half amps. 535 would be 3.2 ish kilowatt hours. In these batteries that were thrown in the scrap. These scrap batteries, 3.2 kilowatt hours there. 
So if I could find another three of them, that'd be amazing. So six kilowatt hour at 12 volts. There we go, done. That's amazing. So just over 3.2 kilowatt hours. Now, the next thing I need to do is set up a DC to DC step up converter. And a, uh, set that up on these. And actually put them into service. What I will do is I'll actually set this up to cycle. We've got heaps of battery voltage at the moment. We've got 13.4. So what I might do is uh, charge these back up and do another discharge test on them another day. I'm going to get some better leads to go in the uh, banana plugs here that are a bit more heavy duty. Because they've been warm for a couple of days now. Um, 47 hours to be exact. Almost two days. And uh, yeah, that is very, very substantial. So I don't know whether these are five, six, seven hundred amp hours normally or whether they're a thousand amp hours and they're half stuffed. But uh, they held up voltage very nicely. And sprung back to 5.9. Now that it's stopped. Let's go for charge. And let it punch that power back into them. So there you go, don't discount something you see at the scrapyard. Even with voltage drop and these leads being hot. So let's be realistic, it could have nearly been 600 amp hour. So 3.5 to 3.6 kilowatt hours. Just keep that in mind. Um, just because they're at a scrapyard doesn't mean they're dead. As soon as this does such a good job at regenerative discharging. I'm actually going to do all my sealed these big ones. There's two blue ones, there's two grey ones and the two big ones down there which are valve regulated OGMs. I'm going to do all of them and just see what kind of capacity they've got and cycle them, see if we can make them, make them any better. Even though it's dark right now and we've got sagged to 29.9 uh, 12.9 sorry we'll uh Punch some power in there, there's half an amp hour, half an amp hour already. We'll get these filled back up and uh, give another discharge test when I don't need the charger for a few days. Because yeah, it takes a couple of days. Thanks heaps for watching. There's a link to buy this beautiful big antimatter 30 amp uh, lipo charger discharger down in the top of the description. It has my affiliate code on it. Full disclosure, I'll make a couple of dollars for the channel if you buy one through my affiliate code. If you can do that, it doesn't cost you any more. Supports the channel. Means I can keep making great videos about things like this. And uh, keep saving these things from getting recycled when they've got tons of use left in them. Even if you were to pick these up for scrap value, they're about 50 kilos each. So uh, for 150 kilos of... Uh, scrap value at about I'm going to say about 25 cents a kilo you're uh, you still got a fairly cheap little battery bank especially if you've got something else you can integrate these into like, I'm not a huge fan of lead acid batteries they do the job and that's why I've got them here but uh, they uh, they don't have balance issues and uh, providing you with the space and the uh, open air environment so you can let them vent and breathe when they're working hard they're a uh, Excellent thing. Thanks heaps for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next video.